Hi, Brandon. Hey, Kat. Uh, water. Water. Hot water. I need some hot water. You need some hot water. That'll um, be uh, four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this rather cryptically named product is. It is the uh, Curtis Hot Water Tower. <laughs> but to get specific, it is the WB Five GT. Okay. What matters there is the number five. Okay. It's a five-gallon tank. Got it. So um, is there a W, like? No. The three are there other sizes or no? They're not in this brand. No, okay. they, they do make them much larger than this, but no. As far as cafes, it, it is just the five. Okay, uh, five gallon. It's it's a lot of a lot of hot water. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So this is actually a dual voltage machine, mm -hmm. and what that means is it comes standard already connected with a one ten power cord. Okay, with one ten connected, the heating element kicks into fifteen hundred watts with the heating element. Mm -hmm. um, that's great for people that are not doing a lot of volume. Okay. Um, the benefit to the dual, dual voltage is it allows you to put a real thick cord, 220 cord, you can see that. Nice. And we can convert it to a 220 machine. Mm -hmm. When it's on 220, it's 5,000 watt heating element. So big, big difference. Yeah. Um, most cafes that are going to be using this in production should be on 220. Okay. Um, however, again, if you're just looking to add on, if it's very small setting, um, 110 can at least get the job done. So if I'm making um, a combination of tea and pour overs, like how many in a day when I, when I need to go to 220? I, I don't know how many, you know, how to necessarily quantify it like that. Okay. I, I will say on the 110, it's very hard to pull water back to back. Okay. At temperature. It's very hard. If you pull out 16 ounces of water mm -hmm. on a 110 machine, you have to let it sit for, I don't know, a minute or two before it's back up. Okay. So if you're in an environment where your, your pour over or tea requests are coming in, trickling, maybe no more than 10 minutes apart or, exactly. or less than 10 minutes apart, you're probably fine with. Then the 120 is just fine. Okay. So why don't you take me through um, this uh, fancy little screen It's a here. very simple thing. One of the cool things it has here is actually an aeration button. So okay. you can actually, if you listen. Air bubble in the water yeah. back there. So it's actually going to aerate the water. That okay. works really well for tea. A lot of people like to agitate that water beforehand. Yeah. Um, Curtis seems to like it only because if you look at the bottom, it's got big letters that say fresh aeration. They really love it. So they want to let you know it works like that. Okay. Um, basically the concept there would be just to agitate the water a little bit, put a little bit of air into it before you're going to make your tea. And do you see any, I guess you see a little bit of difference, but not much, huh? You get a little bit. I mean, you okay. could let it run a little bit longer there. Um, I mean, but yeah, you can see some of the little bubbles there, but really okay. it's just to kind of, you know, because it's sitting there, it's kind of stale, it's mm -hmm. stagnant. It's just to give it that little agitation before you start going. I see. Okay. Um, temperature. So it is programmed right now. We're sitting at about 205. I actually technically have it set at 206, but because I just pulled water out of okay. it, it's sitting at 205. If you hold, that's going to start flashing at me in a minute. Now I can take it down or up. Okay. And what's my range? So I can go all the way up to 210. I can go all the way down, I'm not going to take it down that far, but all the way down to uh, 140 degrees. And uh, it's in multiples of two. It's in multiples of two. Everything okay. is 206, 204, 202. Now if you notice though, as it sits, like 206 right there, oops, let's go back up. 206 is going to be right there, but if you notice as I started pulling out, mm -hmm. it kind of kicks down to 205. I see. So you're going to be in that range from that standpoint, but everything is in multiples of two. Cool. Um, General concept, going up is easier than going down. So if you change it down, you should pull some water you out. You have to pull a lot of water out. Yeah. It, it, as we're sitting at, say, 204 and we go to 210, it's easy. I hit it, it goes right up. But when we were just at 206 right there to try to drop it down to 202, mm -hmm. I probably got to take over 33% of that water out. Just to get cold water in there and bring it down. Yep. Cool. Um, so that, that does take a little bit of time from that standpoint. Okay. Other than that, it's a very, very simple system. This is this goes great in tea shops. A lot of tea shops have these type of things. Um, in the coffee shop world, it's pour over bars. Uh, nowadays, with all these Chemexes that we're doing and the Harios and all that, you or, need these. Um, if you want to do individual presses. Individual presses, yeah. French presses. Um, it's a lot better than trying to pull it out of an espresso machine. Yeah. It's one, it's at a set temperature. Two, I don't know if you just noticed the flow right there. Yeah. But again, I mean, look how much more water's coming out. Mm -hmm. um, it's just easy to use. It's up to temperature, all you know, automatically out wherever there. you set it. When you go to do something like, say, you know, pour over a Chemex, you're going to take one of those little goosenecks, you know, yeah. kettles. Um, you know, if you try to use one of the regular ones, you plug it in, you got to wait 10 minutes. Versus here, you just walk over, fill it up, it and go. You're good to go. Cool. All right. So the WBG5T. WB5. WB5GT. Yeah. Rah! That's easy, isn't it? Hot water, fresh aeration from Chris. <laughs>
Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Kat.